stately mountains shining from the distance, green open steps as far as the eye can see, the great Gobi Desert revealing the mirages from the south, thick wooded forests carrying the beauty of the north. This is Mongolia, a landlocked country in Central Asia between deserts, grasslands and forests. Nomads have cherished this land, living off Mother Earth for centuries, and protected her resources under the eternal blue sky. As early as the Mongol Empire, under the great warrior Genghis Khan, laws forbade the pollution of rivers and lakes. They also protected animals from hunting during breeding season and banned citizens from cutting down live trees. Mongolia's forests are precious to this day, known as the taiga. They are part of the world's largest land-based carbon sink stretching across the northern hemisphere, supporting livelihoods of local people, but Mongolia's forests are often ignored. Overlooking the capital Ulaanbaatar, the Bogdha mountain strictly protected area is the oldest officially protected area in the world. We do have two different types of forests in Mongolia. Boreal forests with large pines and birch species and a unique desert woodland known as Saxal forest. Together, they cover nearly 18 million hectares of land about 12% of the country's surface area, an area the size of Germany's forest, and they are vital for our future. Mongolia's boreal forests sit on the edge of Siberia. Many nomadic communities, like the Tsatan reindeer people, depend on these forests for food, medicine, and their livelihoods. Mongolia's population heavily depends on a healthy natural environment. Various benefits and gains for the Mongolian population are estimated at 300 million US dollars a year. The wealth of our world and our nation is its air, soil, forests, minerals, rivers, lakes, and biodiversity. Lives and livelihoods depend on them but these valuable resources are at risk. While few forests are cut down in Mongolia, many are degraded from pests and fire, with over 140,000 hectares of forests affected every year. Fires caused by humans, as well as poor forest management, climate change, pests and weak governance are threats to the boreal forests in the north. Once burned, weakened trees are more vulnerable to pest and fungal attack. This can lead to more dead trees which fuel fires. Hotter summers, growing droughts, advancing desertification and melting glaciers. These are the effects of climate change in Mongolia. Its temperature over the last 70 years have jumped by more than 2 degrees centigrade almost three times faster than the global average. Nomadic life is now at risk. But Mongolia's forests can help to save it. They can slow down the effects of climate change if we protect them now. They can help to regulate permafrost melting, which provides vital soil water in dry summers. Mongolia's boreal forests are like water shields. They protect permafrost and even stimulate rainfall. Even the dry woodlands protect vital water supplies in the deserts. If we lose the forests, we lose more water and life. Mongolia is a low emitter of greenhouse gases globally, but one of the countries worst affected by climate change. Its forests, water, grasslands and nomadic way of life is threatened. 
With the support of UN RED program, we are developing national forest and climate change strategy. This focuses not just on managing forests, but on their role in achieving the sustainable development goals to end poverty, reduce inequality and protect the planet by 2030. Safeguarding forests can help to meet those goals by putting climate change measures into national policies and plans, creating business opportunities for sustainable forest management, improving climate change awareness, mitigation and adaptation, and mobilizing finance for mitigation in developing countries like Mongolia. Mongolia's forests are a global treasure. But Mongolia cannot guard them alone. The international community has committed to helping developing countries adapt to global warming. This is what we all share and what we leave to our children. If we save our forests, we can help to protect our planet and its future. In order not to leave a degraded earth and diminished future, each one of us can make a difference today. But together, we can make a change tomorrow. Help Mongolia stand tall to play its part. Because this is our home. In the international climate change debate, we normally think about uh, small island states and uh, rising sea levels. Few people actually realize that a landlocked country like Mongolia can be equally vulnerable. It's therefore very important to invest in Mongolia's forests. As the UN RED program, we are developing mechanisms and generating uh, the finance uh, to protect Mongolia's forests, but much more is needed in this uh, vital arena and we welcome as the UN in Mongolia additional international support.